Debate, presented to you by the Magic G's. Wait, where's my coffee? There it is. I thought I was saying, I'm your host Yusuf, and on today's show, we're going to discuss an invasive species that has been seen more and more often in our part of the world, the Emerald Ash Borer. This bejewel beetle is not bringing riches to our environment, but devastation. To discuss this further, we have joining us virtually a renowned scientist and biologist, the guru of biodiversity, Dr. G. Let's give him a round of applause. Thanks for asking, and thank you for having me on the show today. I've been getting used to working in my pajamas all day, every day. Oh, are we live right now? Yes, we are. We're broadcasting live to 141 countries all across the globe. Oh, in that case, during this pandemic. I have been working very closely with Chief Zoologist Weiler to help find a strategy to combat invasive species plaguing our environment. I've been reading up on your work and it is truly amazing what you and Chief Zoologist Weiler have been doing. For those who don't know, please tell us what an invasive species is. Great question. An invasive species is an animal or plant from a different region of the world that doesn't belong in its new environment. Invasive species can be introduced to the new environment by ship ballast water or accidental release and most of all, people. Invasive species can lead to the extinction of native animals and plants. The disturbances of ecosystems and the destruction of natural habitats. Thank you, Doctor. Now tell us about the specific invasive species you have been studying so intently and even written a book on. Wow, never have I read a book so informative in my life. Let me set the scene for you and your audience. Imagine lush green forest all around you and birds serenading you with a lovely tune. And in an instant, it's all gone. Well, that's the devastation an emerald ash borer can do to an environment. It has killed tens of millions of ash trees and is threatening to kill 8.7 billion of ash trees throughout North America. Wow, that is very frightening, Doctor. What exactly is the Emerald Ash Borer? The Emerald Ash Borer is an invasive species of metallic wood boring beetle native to East Asia. It was first found in Ontario in June 2002. The beetle likely crossed into Ontario from Windsor, where it established in the Detroit area. It either arrived in wood packaging or pallets. It most likely ended up in a ship like this and traveled across the United States into Canada. That smart bugger didn't, ha didn't even have to quarantine after all that stuff. But I have to quarantine after going to the grocery store. All jokes aside, the emerald ash borer can only move a few miles on its own, but however, it can be dispersed by people moving materials such as logs, firewood, wood pellets, and lumber. 
The emerald ash borer attacks both healthy and stressed ash trees when its larvae tunnel goes through the tree's vascular system, which delivers its water, nutrients, and sugars throughout the tree. What impact does this have on our environment? The emerald ash borer attacks young trees several years before reaching their seeding age of 10 years. The loss of ash in an ecosystem can result to increased amounts of invasive plants, changes of soil nutrient, and affects species that feed on ash. Once infested, the mortality of ash trees is nearly 100%. There is also an economic impact as a result of loss of valuable timber, which is used for building and furniture. So that chair you are sitting on, and even that desk, can be gone in a blink of an eye. This desk? Wow! Oh dear! With all the wood gone, my chair will be missing too! Population. You can try using a fly water, but I doubt it'll do much. Ah! Where is it? Ah! Oh. There we go. Finally. The first thing is to monitor existing ash trees. In areas where the emerald ash bar has not yet been detected, they use surveys to monitor for new infestations. Once an infestation is detected, we must quarantine the area so no ash trees can leave the area and spread it to other places. Insecticides can be used and can be effective for one to three years. Insecticide treatments are not feasible for large forested areas outside of urban areas. Yes, yes, this is all very important, but can I please have my desk and chair back now? Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. <sighs> Last. So doctor, to summarize in a few brief sentences, please explain to our audience how we can prevent the spread. So what we can do is very similar for what we've been doing during this whole pandemic. Monitor and quarantine. Monitor and quarantine your ash trees. Great words of advice, Doctor. And thank you so much for being on the show again. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in for today's episode of When Invaders Invade. Be sure to join us next time when we talk to Chief Zoologist Weiler about the effect of hip-hop music on canines. Thank you, everybody.